The world of Mashi is rather splashy with more than 70 seas. And when dusk falls, a tired whale's call floats gently on the breeze. Its sleepy song is rather faint, but sure to make you yawn. And sometimes it can shape your dreams from bedtime through till dawn. So snuggle down, cozy up, close your eyes, and relax. Bobbing beneath the ocean's waves, beside a rainbow reef, Stanley stops to snuggle on a subaquatic leaf. For Stanley is a seahorse, a fragile little fish. And when he goes to sleep each night, he always makes a wish. He hopes his friends stay safe and sound and all have happy lives. But most of all, Stanley longs to meet a seahorse wife. See, seahorses, like Stanley, function best when they're in pairs. And every seahorse in the world just wants to love and share. Tonight, he's feeling sleepy, and he'd like to have a nap. So Stanley sips some seaweed tea an undersea nightcap. Next he puts on eye shades to block out all the light. Cause coral reefs are bright and shiny, even late at night. As Stanley snuggles on his leaf, he dreams of finding love, accompanied by the sound of mermaids singing up above. He'd like to find a special seahorse, one that he can treasure, a little friend and sweetheart he can snuggle with forever.
just as he's about to snooze, Stanley hears a sound. So he lifts his little eye shades and has a look around. A massive net is trawling through the sandy ocean bed and it's heading straight towards him, filling him with dread. But just as he's about to fall into the net's embrace, he spots another seahorse with a quite delightful face. And she barges into Stanley and knocks him off his leaf. And as the big net whooshes past, they both sigh in relief. You saved my life, says Stanley. Please, tell me, what's your name? My name's Ophelia, she replies. And I do it all again. Thank you. Uh, my name's Stanley, he nervously replies. Perhaps you'd like to join me. Come on. It's a surprise. Stanley and Ophelia bob along the ocean floor towards a wall of coral with a little clamshell door. The winding path that leads them there is lined with glowing shells and technicolor jellyfish sway overhead like bells. This place is so enchanting, Ophelia remarks. As they glide towards the door that's guarded by two friendly sharks. Welcome to the turquoise reef, says Stanley with a smile. It's the ocean's greatest night spot, but I've not been in a while.
the turquoise reef is beautiful. Ophelia is impressed. It's filled with glitzy splashlings, all very smartly dressed. <gasps> There's a famous starfish, whispers Stanley. And a snail. And look, a rainbow urchin and a mushy rock star whale. Ophelia and Stanley laugh and dance the night away. They even float downstairs to watch the oyster cabaret. Both of them have so much fun. They forget it's nearly morning. Even though the waiters and the sardine staff are yawning. As they leave, Stanley says, I hope this isn't silly, but I'd like you to accept this special underwater lily. Ophelia says, oh, Thank you. We've had such fun together. It feels as if we're soulmates. Like I've known you, Stan, forever. As dawn draws near, the seahorse friends glide gently through the reef. And Stanley talks about their night in total disbelief. I really can't believe you saved me from that massive net. I hope you know that I cannot repay this mighty debt. Ophelia says, Don't worry, meeting you is enough for me. But I really ought to head home, or I'll miss my morning tea. Please don't leave, says Stanley. I can't bear to be apart. And then he blows a bubble, which is shaped just like a heart. As she bobs away, Ophelia gives a little glance. And Stanley hopes that this is not the end of their romance. Ophelia says, I have to go. Her voice is so serene. And then she disappears. 
into the bubbly blue and green. and starts to visit places that a seahorse might frequent. But Ophelia has disappeared. She's nowhere to be seen. And Stanley starts to wonder if their night out was a dream. He goes back to the turquoise reef and asks the sardine staff if they have seen his sweetheart, his dainty other half. No one's seen Ophelia. Perhaps she went away. But then the friendly sharks say that the net returned today. It seems that marshlings on the surface love exotic coral, even though collecting it in nets is quite immoral. Stanley wishes off, and both the sharks say they will help. But then he sees a little face peering through the kelp. each other as both sharks nod then sigh oh look I think he really loves her he thought the net had caught you says Stanley with a smile I've been looking for you all my life well okay for a while the same, Ophelia says. I've been searching for you, too. I've met so many seahorses, but none as nice as you. Some time later, Stanley says, We only have one life. 
So I wonder if you do me proud and be my seahorse wife. Ophelia agrees, and Stanley's heart is filled with love. Who'd have thought a net could bring such joy from up above? Gracefully, they glide away to spend their lives together. Because remember, marshalling seahorses have one true love. Forever. Good night.